In this video, you are gonna learn how to use the Amazon FBA calculator to calculate your profit margins. What's up guys, I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. Welcome back and in this video, we're gonna talk about the Amazon FBA calculator. This is very, very important when calculating your profit margin. This is how much money you're going to keep at the end of the day from selling your products on Amazon. The best way to find the Amazon FBA calculator is to simply Google Amazon FBA calculator and you're gonna find it right here. It's gonna be the top choice there for you. Now you can sign in to your Seller Central account if you've already set that up, if you're already using it, um, or you can continue as a guest. So for those of you who haven't started selling yet, yet or you don't have your account, just click continue as a, as a guest. Now this is very important. You're gonna to wanna to find your product on amazon.com, but if you don't already have a product, obviously, I mean, that's why we're doing the research to see if a product is profitable, you're going to find the closest competitive product you can on Amazon. So if I was going to sell an insulated water bottle and it was going to be very similar to what Hydro Flask offers here, I would want to find a very, very similar product. So similar to the fact that if you are going to sell a 32 ounce, you need to make sure that you choose a 32 ounce. Now this one obviously doesn't have a 32 ounce, but let's pretend I was going to sell a 24 ounce insulated water bottle. I would come here to Amazon, search Hydro Flask, find their 24 ounce water bottle. And then up here at the top of the screen, um, if you can see this, whoop, sorry, that was a curvy arrow. Uh, right up here, you're going to see this code right here is the ASIN, the A-S-I-N. You're going to copy those letters, copy, go back to your calculator, paste them right here, and click search. Okay, we found our product. It pulled up just nicely for us. We are going to ignore this your fulfillment side, okay? Okay. We are only focused on we are only focused on the Amazon fulfillment. This is the FBA side of things. But we're going to need to put in some numbers here. Now, you're going to want to have a pretty good idea beforehand of what price point you're going to come in at with your product. So if you're going to sell an insulated water bottle, maybe you're not going to sell for 34.95 like Hydro Flask does. Let's say you've done all your research, you've looked at the Jungle Scout data, you've looked at the competition, and you are gonna come in and position yourself at $29.99. You can put that price in right there. Ship to Amazon. This is the cost of shipping the item to an Amazon Fulfillment Center. So this would be the cost of shipping it, let's say you get your product from overseas, this would be the cost of shipping it from your house to Amazon's FBA warehouse. Now, this is a, a tough calculation to kind of come up with. I'll probably have to do another YouTube video on this because I do have a strategy behind how to how to do that. But uh, you're kind of gonna just gonna have to kind of estimate how much it costs to ship one unit to Amazon's warehouse. So let me like here, let me just do a basic explanation. And I can do this more in depth in another video, like I said. But let's pretend in one box you can send. 10 bottles okay one box fits 10 bottles to send to amazon and it cost ten dollars to ship uh ups to amazon's warehouse okay so if it costs ten dollars to ship 10 bottles how much is that it's one dollar per bottle right makes sense so that's how the basic math would work out so then i would just come here and put in one dollar because that's what it'd be that's what it cost for one unit now, for average inventory units stored. This is honestly kind of a dumb calculation, I think, that Amazon puts right here. Because it's very confusing. Like, they'll say right here, the average number of units you hold in inventory for this product. If you were to put in like 100 right here, or 200 or 300, it's going to jack up your profit margin. And I'll explain why here in just a second once I click calculate. But for right now, you're just going to leave this at one, okay? And then the cost of the product, 
this is like the cost of goods sold. So I'm gonna write cost of good sold. So this is the cost from your manufacturer. And I'm gonna include everything in there. So cost to make it and cost of packaging, obviously, and cost for them to ship it to you. So get all those costs from your manufacturer, find out what that is per unit, right? So if they are telling you, oh, you can order 100 water bottles for $500 and it costs $250 to ship it all here, do the math, find out how much it costs per water bottle. For, for the sake of quickness, I'm just gonna pretend it costs $5 per unit. Now I'm gonna click calculate. Okay, now down here in the bottom, if we zoom in right here, we can see net margin or net profit and net margin. Net profit would be how many dollars you get to keep after all the fees and costs, everything is taken into account. That's how much money for every time you sell one water bottle for $29.99, you keep $14.53, which is a 48.45% profit margin, which is really good. I try to say, shoot for a 50% profit margin off the bat. This would be like off the bat, meaning after Amazon fees, after shipping fees, after cost for manufacture, after all that, if you can get close to 50%, you're going to be in a really really good place because you're going to have a lot of wiggle room to work with for your Amazon pay-per-click strategy, for marketing, uh, running other types of promo campaigns. You're going to be in a good spot. So 48.45, if this was real, this would be an amazing um, place to be in. But I want to explain in depth right here um, the average inventory units stored because this is where so many people get hung up. I'm gonna erase all my writing right here so we can see things a little bit better. I'm going to show you what the difference is if I change this to like 100 units. Because when you logically think about this calculator, you think, okay, average inventory units stored, I probably am gonna have like, you know, 100, 200 units in the Amazon warehouse. I mean, you want to so that you know, people can buy them. But look, watch what happens if I change this to 100 and then I click calculate. Look what that did to my profit margin. It like tanked it all the way down to 28%. And they're trying to tell me storage cost per unit sold is $6. The way they're doing this math is it's taking $6 out of my profit margin per unit. But this is really, really confusing to me. Like this is a really, really confusing calculation. Amazon charges you a small fee to store your product in their warehouse. Jungle Scout put out a nice article right here where they break down the uh, storage fees. So for standard size products, which would be this right here, which is what most of you are going to be selling. Um, you can see right here, you can see right here that it's 69 cents per cubic foot for the months of January, September. And then this is fourth quarter when people sell like crazy, so they up the price a little, it goes up to $2.40 per cubic foot. So you think about a shelf, a cubic foot, how much space does your box of product take up on the shelf at Amazon? Okay, so if you're taking up a lot of space, uh, they're gonna charge you more. And then there's some other long-term storage fees, meaning if your product is sitting on the shelf at Amazon for a really long time, they're gonna charge you some additional fees, but you, you're you not gonna to have to worry about that because you're gonna manage your inventory well. But what what we've seen with our product and other people that I that I talk to that you know are doing well with their businesses, most of the time, your product will only be sitting in Amazon for 30 to 60 days. Because think about it this way. Let's say you have, I'm gonna draw over here now. Let's say you have 100 units in stock at Amazon and you're selling two units per day, how many days will your inventory last? 50 days, right? In 50 days, you're gonna run out of this 100. But it was what you're gonna do is you're gonna constantly send in more. So like when your 100 units gets down to like 50 units, you're gonna send in another 100 probably, right? Especially early on, right? When you're looking at your sales. When your sales ramps up and you're doing, you know, five a day, then maybe you'll have 500 units in stock, but it's still the same concept. Like as it sells, you restock, 
but usually you're going to keep anywhere from like 30 to 60 days of inventory starting out. We try to push up to 90 days, but I don't recommend doing that in the early days. Once you've really kind of built some momentum long-term, you've been doing this for a while, then yeah, you could push up to 90, but when you're starting out 30 to 60 days. So in all reality, a product is only going to be sitting there for one month. So if we go back to our Amazon FBA calculator, the, like you can see right here, the monthly storage cost per unit for this water bottle based on the size and everything, Amazon calculates all that for you is six cents. So when I'm looking at my profit margin here and I'm looking at like all these numbers, like $29 minus 450 minus 490 minus $1 um, minus six cents. Uh, minus cost like those are the that is what is totaling up like this dollar amount right here this big six dollar that's a terrible calculation you're not getting charged six dollars because your product is only going to sit there for one month maybe two months max so i'd put in one because yes this is more accurate per unit you're only going to get charged six cents for the storage cost per unit because it's only going to sit there for one month. If you really want to be more accurate, you want to say, okay, is it going to sit there for two months? You could change that to two and it's going to hit you with 12 cents. This is a much more accurate calculation in my opinion. I've done this. I've crunched these numbers with my own products. There's actually a report in Amazon Seller Central that will show you exactly what your storage cost is for every single unit that you've sell, you sold. So I can go on and see, okay, we sold this pack on Thursday to this person. I can see how long was this product sitting in Amazon's warehouse and what was my fee? And I look at all of our products and it's like five cents, six cents, 12 cents, nine cents, eight cents, 10 cents, like 30 to 60 days. That's how long it sits on the shelf. So yes, for this part, I would just put in a one or a two. Kind of think of it more like how many months is this thing gonna sit there, one month or two months? Um, and that's gonna give you a better, a better profit margin right there. Hopefully this video is useful for you guys to help you calculate your profit margin. There's some more strategy and tactics here for calculating your profit margins and making sure you're a little bit more precise. Like I said, calculating your ship to Amazon. I'll probably do another video about that because I want to show you guys the strategy that I use. But if you're considering selling on Amazon, if you already have started selling on Amazon, if you are maybe want to start selling on Amazon, make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos for you guys. Um, these are a lot of strategies I'm teaching in my private one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching to my private students. Um, I'm also, you know, teaching stuff like this on my podcast. So make sure you're listening to the podcast and come say hi on social media, Twitter and Instagram at NDISM100K. I'm happy to chat with you, um, talk Amazon, see how I can help you even more. All right, guys, I'm Andy. You're watching Learn How. See you in the next video.